So last night we showed uh, Portland missionaries for the first time to an audience. So. We came here and I had this expectation that actually I have no expectation. I was thinking, well, let's see how that's going to turn out. And we were blown, mind blowing. The movie was just so good. I, w I was weeping through the whole time. And I just, I just think that it's, it was so powerful so powerful and uh, I don't know really it's if it's because of it's in our city and it's our people but we felt like this is even better than the other movies that we have watched the other documentaries so I'm pretty impressed and I know this is just the beginning I told Josh Josh this is just your first movie my friend um, I thought that Portland missionaries was really um, eye-opening because uh, it just helps me realize that everywhere you go, you should just be a vessel um, and just be God's hands and feet and just show the world how much they, that God loves them. And it's just made me, um, after seeing that video, it's made my eyes more open to um, what God wants me to tell people and pray for people um, in just different areas, like at coffee shops and um, at the store and just every daily things where you go. and. Um, after this, after the movie, I, my back actually got healed, and I didn't have any more tension or soreness. I all the knots felt like they dissolved with heat, so that was really exciting. And I watched the video last night, and it was amazing. Um, I was bawling several different times, and I just, I really felt um, God's call on my own life through it too. Um, be more part of that because I've, I've felt that in the past but just being busy or whatever distracted with other things I haven't so much but really just felt God's call in my life to do that and be a part of it and you know be part of God's kingdom bringing his kingdom from heaven to earth exactly like what they were talking about and experiencing that and I thought it was amazing I just felt like the Holy Spirit was just I felt like my spirit man just was ignited and I felt the presence of God and I just felt like a weight was lifted and like God was just moving in me and through me and, and I don't know just uniting everybody around me so it's just it's super powerful I love it I know for me what I kind of took out of it more than anything else is that this is what we should be doing every day and if this is what we can do in one city what can we do with this all over the world you know it Let's take the same principles that we got in this movie and take it worldwide. Okay, so um, I brought one of my non-Christian friends with me because they had nowhere else to go. And so, like, literally right after the movie, he was like, let's go outside and let's, like, go worship. So. so I was just sharing how great I thought the Portland Missionaries movie was. For me, it was just um, really set me on fire to do a lot of that stuff. So I think I was fearful of how it was supposed to look or fearful of um, what I'd encounter, but I think it really set me on fire that this is the Christian life, this is what we're supposed to do. So I'm just so thankful that um, you guys took those brave steps out to do that. I know that um, there's a lot of courage that that took and I'm so thankful that you did because I think that it just really um, is going to set the way for people to live out the life that God calls us to live. So thank you, because it was amazing. <laughs> so Friday night, my nephew uh, gave me a text and asked me if Friday Night Fire was happening, and I let him know that uh, actually a movie was going on, Portland Missionaries, and uh, he decided to come with his niece. And he's had 21 years of chronic back pain where um, he had even a surgery, which really didn't help him too much. He hasn't been able to even lean forward, lean backward. It's been pretty serious where he hasn't had the ability to, uh, to move around without pain for so many years that he can't even remember the last time he didn't have pain. So after the movie was over, his niece encouraged him, his niece, my niece, encouraged him to go forward for prayer. And so uh, we went forward with him and Josh came up and started praying for him and actually had my niece Acacia pray over him for uh, healing and so about two or three times we kept digging in deeper and pretty soon he started feeling a tingling up and down his legs and uh, next thing you know he was completely healed 
he just went home. Couldn't believe that he could move around. He could move his, his back forward and backwards, was showing off to his family, doing things that he could not do before. Um, not having pain. He sent me a text and it just made me cry because he had uh, been so long without uh, feeling no pain and having to take drugs. And so we just praise God that he's so good that even after 21 years of someone going through pain and suffering, that uh, Christ is still there with him, reaching out to him, loving on him, and healed him. Amen.